Hi all. In this lecture, I will be showing you setup of e-commerce project using PHP and MySQL. Once you download the project folder, you will be having this zip file. Right click on this and extract all. I will just click on extract. Whatever files and folders I am having, I am just extracting all the files and folders. I will just open this and from here I will copy this folder. I will come to C drive and inside this XAMPP, inside HT docs, I am just going to paste that. Okay, simple. First you have to extract, copy the folder and paste inside HT docs folder. I will open and these are the project files. I will right click on this and here I am just going to open with code. Now inside this I am having admin area. You will be finding the documentation of project. You will be having users area and also you are having this database. I will tell you how to import this database as well. Before that, you should start this Apache server and you should start this MySQL. I will click on admin and inside this, inside this, I am just going to click on new and here I will give the database name my store. I will click on create. My database my store is created. I have given database name as my store because here in this project folder, you will be having this my store database name. If you are changing the database name accordingly, you have to do the setup. I have opened. Now just click on this my store database. How you will get to know it is selected by seeing this minus symbol here. Now I will come to import. I will choose the file. I will come inside this C drive. I will open XAMPP inside ht docs in this folder whatever folder you have pasted from there select this my store database click on open come down and just click on this import button now all the tables whatever is present inside this database all the tables will be imported inside this database and inside this products table, I have already saved some data. So you will also get this data. And accordingly, you have to display the image. So this is the first thing you have to do. You have to set up your database. Then here, inside this includes, we are having connect.php. Whatever password and username you are using, according to that, you should be giving username and password. And whatever database name you want to give, Accordingly, you have to change it here. If you do not change, then you will be getting error. Now, I am just going to open this. Right click on this. Copy the path. I will open my browser. I will paste the link. And from here, I will just write localhost. Enter. This is the project demo you will be having. You will be having all the brands, categories, Whatever products I am having inside the database table, all the products will be displayed. Accordingly, based on your requirement, you can change the data, you can change the project, you can change entire setup. But only thing, you should know concepts, whatever you are using, refer that concepts and build your own project. Now in this entire project, I have made use of IP address. Instead of IP address, you can enhance the project, you can give random ID to user or you can select their user ID and according to that you can display the products. So this is how you are going to set up the project and you will be finding all the playlist link, project demo link accordingly go through the videos to understand the concept. Now coming back to this project folder, inside this you will be finding this documentation folder in which you will be having four files. I will open this first file. 
in this i have pasted images of the project okay few images and here i have mentioned some notes okay the playlist whatever you will watch and this entire project is made using windows operating system so in other operating system also it will be working fine if you are facing some issue it is not because of operating system you have to check for the setup of project and this project is completely designed for beginners so accordingly based on your requirement you can change the code and you can enhance the project and as i mentioned in this project i have made use of ip address so accordingly you can give user id or you can select random id for users and based on that you can display the products and i have given social media links if you are facing some issue you can contact me and i will be providing solution for that then this is the second documentation in which you will be having some idea of how this project is made and below this also i have mentioned the note and also i have provided my social media links and inside this third documentation you will be finding playlist link now whatever video i am recording this project setup link i will be pasting it here you will be finding link for the project demo you will be finding complete e-commerce project playlist here and there in project code you will be finding some difference in code you do not have to worry entire thing is going to work properly accordingly you have to understand and you have to implement this project again in this i have mentioned the note and i have mentioned my social media links and finally inside this i have provided one link feedback form link you can open this link and accordingly you can give the feedback if you are facing some issues or if you are facing some errors according to that you can provide me with the feedback and i will be providing you with the solution over mail and i wish you all the very best for starting this project Thank you so much for taking this course. Now start your journey with this amazing e-commerce project using PHP and MySQL.